Good morning, folks. As great as yesterday's incredible cosmic animations were, today's galactic ones might be better, and yet one of the worst things we could wrap our heads around. As you can see, the sun is about as quiet as they come, so let's start there at spaceweathernews.com. Same story of small, sparse coronal holes, no sunspots, no solar flares, solar wind with minor fluctuations, in quiet range, and geomagnetic conditions are quiet as well. Now, let's get to the juice. Top quake of the last day rang in overnight. This one actually upgraded from a 5.9 blot echo to a 6.1 surface rumble. Of course, the number one story meteorologically yesterday was Tornado Alley. This is Missouri, where it feels like this time of year that Joplin got hit all those years ago. Cleanup begins again. And there might be more coming this evening. Texas, up almost to the I states, but stopping shy. Eyes open there, please, this evening. Now, Let's go to science and start with a flash. We're coming into Beta Pictoris, one of the stars of our local neighborhood only about 63 light years away. Known for its incredible edge-on profile and undulating ripples. That'll be a theme of today. And you may also recall that they even spotted one of the only ever direct exoplanet images we have, rather than a starlight dip. They caught the actual planet. And now they say they found three giant comets in the system too one of the most intriguing star systems of the local group. Up next, we're looking for phytoplankton diversity in the ocean. This map does not show total numbers or oxygen production and carbon sequestration, but rather that diversity of species. Interestingly, while peaking equatorially, the minima are not at latitude extremes and they actually begin to notice higher diversity readings just before the polar regions. But alas, those regions were not studied to be able to complete the map. Up next, folks, Triton has got to be one of the most horrendous environments imaginable. Frigid, no subsurface ocean, cosmic rays, no magnetosphere, and now, apparently they've got poison geysers that add an element of volatility to the Neptunian moon that I don't think it really needed. Now let's get to the fun stuff. Mars has way more water ice, about a mile under the poles than we believed. The amount of water still present on the red planet is astounding, and it is found deep underground in layer after layer of ice, dust, ice, dust, ice. Up next, finding an interesting piece on molecular clouds and star formation, including the feedback on the clouds and future star formation. One of the features of the process is the creation of these smaller superheated gas bubbles, although small is a relative term since they are the size of planet to massive supernova remnants. And now for our top two stories. A power team from Oxford did a lot of math, quite a bit of writing, all in an attempt to solidify humans as the cause of global warming. Did they include solar forcing? Yes. Sunspot number. No, we are not playing a joke, and this would be funny if it wasn't such a problem and didn't continue to happen. So maybe one of you could inform those professors at Oxford that sunspots are like shots on target. It's an opportunity, but not necessarily a score. Sunspots have never reflected actual flaring trends, CME production, solar energetic particle storms, or geomagnetic storms. And so during the part of their paper where solar forcing drops out as Earth continues to warm at the start of the century, oh, I don't think so. By the way, the particle forcing data set has now been available for two years and still no takers. Last but not least, I told you so's are no fun when they mean that the sun has a micronova trigger in the galaxy every 10 to 12,000 years. The plane of the galaxy. Only as we've been imploring you to imagine, it is not a plane, but a rippling sheet. The galactic material, specifically the dust, is of the utmost importance. The way we get many super flares and recurrent nova is through dust and gas feeding onto a star. So what happens when stars intermittently encounter that material and take an electric field density surge and galactic magnetic field reversal at the same time? That is what we focused on as the trigger for Earth's catastrophe cycle, and it is difficult to tell how far the next dust region is when we're looking here if we're not already getting into it now, especially since our viewpoint is skewed and we really don't know how far away most of that material really is. But what we do know is that it is not a plane, but a rippling sheet. Just like the planets going around the sun, the stars in the galaxy pass in and out of that plane with potentially major consequences. When it happens on Earth, there's just a geomagnetic 
electromagnetic storm. But what happens to the sun when there's also tremendous ion density magnetic reversal from the galaxy and all of the dust? Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. You had some intriguing new deeper looks this month already. Yesterday, it was a critical magnetic reversal update with some numbers to go with it. Yes, you're going to want to watch that one. We also had a special on that sunspots versus actual space weather chart and a good deal more. As those with the disaster prediction app likely noticed, we are now sending blot echoes, but oh, we have a lot more coming. By the way, yes, any of those alerts can be turned off. It's all in your personal settings with those, but alas, in addition to being the world's best solar flare and geomagnetic storm app, the only space weather health alerts on Earth, and in addition to it being my way to send you a message if Earth's field ever collapses, it will soon carry much of space weather news material and the Blood Echo wind map. But when this version comes out, We'll need to support the servers. Everyone who gets the Disaster Prediction app now is grandfathered in. Our costs are tripling. So is the eventual price. Please get your alert system now. Crazy to pay triple next month. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.